everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are very excited to be looking at the uh, the Nacelle Company's debut. So friend of the pod, uh, Brian Volkweiss has been on the show a couple times and uh, and we've heard about the relaunch of RoboForce. Um, we had a chance to get a look at these at uh, New York Comic Con but now we have them in hand. So we have... Uh, the first two releases, Max 89 and Wrecker, in the RoboForce line. And as you can see, these are big boys. So, you know, just kind of comparing with a Marvel Legend, you know, you can see how big these robots are. Um, you know, I would say that they stand somewhere in the uh, the 12, the 12 inch range, the 10 to 12 inch range here. Um, really cool packaging, obviously very important. So, uh, very important toy. Um, this is also very important for the Nacelle company in general, you know, as they, you know, branch into the world of making toys. Really cool box art here on the back. Um, you get a description of, of Max, uh, as well as, you know, Wrecker on the back of his. Uh, you can see on the picture the uh, the suction cups. So we will we'll do a suction cup test with these guys once we open them. But uh, yeah, really, really excited to finally get hands on these. Love a good robot toy. Uh, let's get these guys into the light box and take a closer look at the Nacelle Company's RoboForce. There you have it, folks. There are Wrecker and Max 89 out of the box. You saw them in the light box. You saw all of the fun features and <clears throat> accessories that they come with, but we still have one question to answer. And that is, do these two suck? And let me tell you, this is your, your average baking pan. And let me tell you, these guys, suck and they are heavy 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 no trickery here nothing these suction cups are legit i mean look at this i'm wiggling them back and forth and i'm not i'm i'm not even worried that they're gonna fall off my hand isn't even underneath them this is uh these are extraordinary they are awesome robot toys let's see if we can get a nice satisfying pop hang on there we go um these these figures are extraordinary. These are these are awesome robot toys. Um, as you can see, they are massive. They are there we go. They are stuck. The suction cups work as advertised. Um, there is a surprising amount of of movement and engineering um, on these. Like you, you know, usually when toys get kind of this chunky, it's tough to get them to move. And these guys move, man. They have they have articulation where it counts. Um, the the double jointed elbows are you know even though they can only get to 90 degrees they're necessary to get to that point and i mean part of the elbow articulation moves just a teeny tiny little bit in order to get you um you know to get you into that that position like it's literally added just to get the, that little extra movement um you know i i love the deco i love how the accessories work you know, the little portholes are kind of hidden really nicely. Uh, there's one, it took me actually a minute to find the last one, but the last one is right under there. But, uh, you know, the the weapons, 
they port right in, they're nice and stiff, so they, they sit. The one thing I would say, you know, in terms of, of picking knits is it would be awesome if these were on little ball joints, so that way you can you know, kind of move the gun around. Um, would have been awesome. I uh, love the colorways, the, the deco. Uh, Wrecker has a really nice black wash on him uh, that really makes some of these uh, details and, and sculpted details pop. Um, I love his little opening and closing claw. It's a nice little feature that's unique to him. Uh, it's just, I, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with these. Again, you know, the accessories, they poured in really nicely. And again, my same, the same feedback I had for Max uh, goes for Wrecker as well. Would have been awesome if there was some sort of joint here, so that way this can pivot, you know, or articulate. Um, but for the price point, uh, the, these, are, these are fantastic. So where can you get them? They are in stock right now um, at uh, Nacelle, uh, their store. So we'll put a link to the description link to where you can buy these right now in the uh, in the description below. And uh, while you're down there looking for that link, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take deeper dives into the toys that we love. And uh, and while you're down there too, leave us a comment. Uh, do you have a, a Robo Force robot that you would love to see uh, Nacelle tackle in this kind of modern uh, modern take? Uh, let us know. Leave a comment. And while you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where we're constantly posting toy videos, reviews, deals, availability, toy photography, anything and everything that we think would help out the community. And then, of course, the podcast. So Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts or simply search for Adventures in Collecting uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. Or you can hit the link in the description below. Um which will take you to our website and you can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. And uh, congratulations one more time to, to Bri friend of the pod, uh, Brian Volkweiss and the rest of the team at Nacelle. You guys crushed it. These are amazing. Um, can't wait to see what you guys do next uh, with toys. And as always, until next time.